Hey everybody, it's Michael Skelton here. Today I'm going to be unboxing Yokohama by Tasty Minstrel Games. This is designed by Hisashi Hayashi and I missed the Kickstarter, so this is the retail version. Um, I actually saw the Kickstarter, I'd heard decent things about the game, was interested, but I never backed it and missed out. But I did find a retail copy and... I decided it was a game I wanted to try, so it's pretty much unlike other games we have. That's what's attracted to me. I know it's sort of a more souped-up version of the mechanic in Istanbul, but we don't even have Istanbul. So rather than just another worker placement game, I thought it'd be cool to do this one and see what it's all about. So this plays uh, two to four players in about 90 minutes. Um, there's the back of the box. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Alright, this is a pretty standard size box, probably the size of like Aurat Labora, something like that, um, in terms of depthness and size. Here we've got the rule book. Nice, full color, glossy. Components, how to set up a game, all the different rules. So all in all, we have 18 pages and a quick turn summary on the back. And here we have punch boards. So I know the Kickstarter had meeples in the place of all these resource tokens. So here we've got fish, tea leaves, I think that one is, not exactly sure. We've got money, various buildings, um, but I kind of like chits in terms of games like, well, or at Labora, I guess, is one of them, but um, I was thinking Lahav, actually, with the million different chits that they have, I do kind of like that. Whoa, these are punching super easy. So that was punch board number one. Here is punch board number two. So that is tea leaves. This is uh, silk down here. These are actually um, shops and trading houses. Here's punch board number three. We've got now uh, copper. These are actually the score counters, one in each color. Punch board number four. We've got imports. That's these yellow crates. And down here, we've got the foreign agents, which if I flip this over, we'll have various countries on the other side. Punch board number five, church management, customs management board. Nope, this one's coming out already. This is number six. Number seven, number eight. So here you can see the uh, warehouse tiles for each player. Number nine, two more warehouse tiles. And here we start to have the locations. So this is number 10. We've got church, canal, bank, and Chinatown. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. A couple tea plantations. I guess I should show you the back. Looks like that one you're using in four player only. This one's just general. And here we have the uh, point tracker. So lots of cardboard in this box. Love that. Those are my favorite games. Uh, we've got tons of baggies for all everything I just showed you. And we have meeples for each player in the four different colors. So we've got standard cubes here. Green and blue. Red and yellow. I believe these are just your workers or I think they call them assistants in this game. And then four president pawns for each player color. Looking good. Now we've got two packs of cards. Let's open these guys up. So the first pack, we've got a couple different cards. Let's take a look at them. These ones are the technology cards. Gaslight, exposition, Postal system. Total of 30 technology cards. These are the building site cards. There's a total of 24. 
I believe these go on all the different board locations to randomize their stuff. So it looks good. Let's open the second pack. One start player card. So this pack has uh, also two different types of cards. These are the order cards. There are 36. That's sort of a recipe fulfillment thing for the different countries, I do believe. Just what they want, who wants it, how many points you're going to get, and other bonuses. So that's the orders. Then we've got 12 achievement cards. Looks like there's three different levels, C, B, and A. Um, four of each, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yep, four of each. So there you go. That's all the cards, and that's everything in the box for Yokohama. As I said, this is the retail copy. Heard it was a great game, watched some videos, definitely wanted to check it out, unlike any other games we currently have. So that's exciting. Um... Let's put everything back in and wrap it up. Just to give you an idea, that's how thick all the punch boards are all together. So quite a hefty chunk of components and tiles there. All right, and that's it for the unboxing of Yokohama by Hisashi Hayashi and put out by Tasty Minstrel Games. Um, let me know in the comments if you've played this, if you want to play it, if you've got the deluxe or the regular, what you think about it in general. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. If you want to check out more of my videos, just click the links on the screen and maybe you'll find a new game to play. All right, guys, with that, Michael Skelton is out.